I know what I seen. You ain't got to be the sugariest sugar cookie in the jar to know that we are not alone. It'll be just plain arrogant and ignorant to think it's just us out there, if you know what I mean. Just us out there. The problem, big surprise, is the government. See, they don't want us to know. So they keep it all hidden. Classified. But I know what I've seen. There was a crash right here in Anatola Parish in 1986. Now, you won't find nothing written down about it nowhere. There ain't nothing about it on the interweb, and it sure as hell ain't recorded in the minutes down to the town meetings. Of course, Reagan was the president then, so he just tried to bury the whole thing in jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> CIA said it never happened. All the data was confiscated. All the eyewitnesses was assured it's just a weather balloon. A series of 500 weather balloons because this motherfucker was huge, I'm telling you. And it happened. Sure as I'm sitting here talking to you today. And the reason I know is because I was there. I seen it for myself. Now I know people think I'm just some old fart face who hangs out on the outskirts of town with binoculars and a crazy theory. I know that. But did you know? that up to 50% of what Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin and them discovered up on the moon still hadn't been released to the public? Classified. So I keep looking. It's not a lot like this one back in 86. Me and Ronald McDonald, that's my dog. <laughs> Siberian Husky with just a little bit of red on his paws. He's sitting out back of the pickup, down in some brewski. Listening to Mr. Conway Twitty on the radio, when out of fucking no place come all these lights. Now I'm not talking about some bullshit fucked up little bitty fish tank lights. These was jack shit crazy ass fuckers. <laughs> but each one of them bigger than the goddamn swimming pool just shining through the tops of the trees. And it's a big old round silver disc thing, just like you've seen in the movies, only bigger and shinier and flying like it's full of piss and vinegar. <laughs> now you ain't got to be the freshest Cracker Jack in the box to know when a UFO ain't flying right. <laughs> <laughs> this big bitch is weaving all over the place and flying sideways and I swear on a stack of King James Bibles there was whipped cream coming out the rear end. <laughs> Not smoke or goddamn exhaust, but honest to God, whip cream just pouring out everywhere and saturating the trees. I shit you not. Now, you got any idea how much work the CIA must have had to do to get all that whipped cream out of them trees? <laughs> Probably not. Because it's classified. <laughs> So anyway, it's getting lower and lower, and Ronald McDonald starts hollering up at it like it's some kind of long-lost dog rescue mobile or something. <laughs> yeah. And then, blam, it hits not a hundred feet from me. Dirt goes flying everywhere. There's fire. The lights is flashing on and off, off and on. Some of them broke off altogether. Martian lights, biggest swimming pools rolling around all over the place. And right there before my eyes, right there in Eggman's Field out south side of town is a big-ass Spaceship with whipped cream all over it. <laughs> well, I go running right on over there as fast as these legs can carry me. I'm looking around for a goddamn door, but I can't find me one. To this day, I've got no idea how them aliens got in or out of that big bitch. <laughs> Hell, I was hoping I might meet one of them. Give them a brewski. <laughs> Maybe recommend a good repair shop. <laughs> But the heat of that fire is the last thing I recall. And I must have passed out. But the next thing I know, I was waking up in Anatoly General. And these four guys in dark suits and sunglasses and things in their ears staring down at me. Hell, I think they might even drug me trying to get me to forget. To so me, being one of the sharper tools in the drawer, <laughs> I tell them I didn't see nothing and I don't know what the fuck they talking about. <laughs> but I'm telling you now, ain't I? <laughs> you 
are now all witness to the biggest thing ever happened here in Anatola Parish. So if they bump me off, and you never can tell with them CIA assholes. You all know. You know, I never did see old Ronald McDonald again. The way I see it, the CIA might have took him. Because he's a witness, see? And he's a real no-nonsense kind of dog. <laughs> or what I think, I think another spacecraft showed up that night to rescue the crashed aliens, and they took old Ronald McDonald with them. I figure he's... Probably living a high life somewhere up there on Mars right about now. <laughs> well, he can probably look down at me though through some kind of fancy Martian thingamabob. <laughs> well, he wouldn't just run off and leave me like that without a way to look in on me. That's my dog, you see. And he's coming back here someday. I know it. Man's best friend just don't up and run off in his spaceship, leave his owner forever, no <laughs> time. He's coming back with an escort of little green men. And I'll be here. The way I see it, he's just on loan. So I keep looking. Yeah, I know. This town's done written me off as some old fool with binoculars, and that's all right with me. But riddle me this. Y'all ain't never looked up into the night sky and seen something you just can't explain? Like maybe something just sitting there and not moving, but it ain't no radio tower because it's too high up. Or maybe something moving just ever so slightly, but it ain't no plane because planes don't go that slow. Maybe it's just a flashing red light just sits there. Don't go nowhere. Looks down at you for as long as you please. Well, I'm here to tell you. That's them. They've been looking down at us, hell, walking among us for a long time now. At least since 86. <laughs> Probably long before that. And those motherfuckers are coming back. <laughs> you can write that down. And I hope they do. I don't know what I think. <laughs>